Hi guys, welcome to the second video on upper meridian passages for the sun. We're still going to be working with the stationary ships and there's still no vectors involved. And the question basically says the following. So it's very similar to the first one. It says find the GMT and also the zone time for the sun at upper meridian passage on the 21st of October of 1979. So the ship is still stationary. And again, all the information that the question will give you um, I've actually put up here in the left hand column. So the date of the ship, October 21st, the latitude is 27 degrees 45.0 minutes south. The longitude is 177 degrees 42.0 minutes east. And in the body we're observing is still the sun and it's still at upper meridian passage. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to be going into the almanac to find an approximate time that the sun would be at upper meridian passage for the local meridian. Okay, so the time in the almanac is always an LMT time, so that is the first thing that we need to find. So we're going to go into the almanac on the 21st of October, and we're going to check that for that specific date, what is the time given for upper meridian passage for the sun in LMT. So there'll be three dates there, so you just pick the time for the 21st of October. So, October 21st, and the time that we read from the almanac there will then be, whoops, that's not what I meant to do, 11.45. Okay, so 11.45, so like I said in the previous video as well, so these times that we're dealing with, uh, Upper Meridian Passage, they'll always be approximately noon time, so approximately 12 o'clock um, at the observer's local time. So an eastern longitude in this case we're going from the local time back to Greenwich okay so we're to the east of Greenwich we're going back to Greenwich and therefore we need to subtract our longitude in time format now this is going to get interesting because in this case we've got a longitude of 177 degrees and 42 minutes so that 17742 will be turned into a decimal we will divide it by 15 because there's a 15 degree shift per hour according to our 24 hour um, calendar day so we will take that 17742 we'll divide it by 15 and that will basically give us um, a longitude in time so the change in time then that we're actually dealing with is almost exactly 12 hours so it's almost uh, 12 hours in the sense it's 11 uh, 11 hours 51 minutes now that 11 hours 51 minutes because we are east of Greenwich needs to be subtracted and that's going to change our date and this is very important because this date here now is going to be on the 20th of October and again I will highlight it in yellow because this is going to be very important when we're actually going back into the almanac when we start working with um, our angle our angles on this side here so 11 11:45 minus 1151 that's going to give us an actual time then of 23:54 on the previous day so 6 minutes to midnight on the previous date and again we won't be assigning a time zone here because it's approximate this is in zone M zone Mike which we know is 12 hours ahead of Greenwich so we're at Greenwich and now we want to come back to ship time so we come back east and therefore we actually need to then add okay so we're going to add from Greenwich to go east we're going to add by 12 hours and that will then give us a time the next day again so now we're changing that date again so we're jumping back to the 21st again which is the time at the ship so at the ship the sun will be at upper meridian passage at approximately six minutes to 12. Um, now it's very important that this date here so the 21st of October there will always be in correlation with the 21st of October here. So those two must be the same. So maybe I should make that a different color as well. I'll make maybe that one red and this one red. So those must be the same date. That must always be the same. And then this one over here, the 20th of October, that one will always be the same as this date over here. And that is also the date then that we will actually add um, or that we will use when we're actually going into the almanac. Okay, so again, it's upper marine passage, so we know that upper marine passage, the sun will be 
on the observer's meridian and therefore the local hour angle must be either 0 or 360. So in this case we're going to be going from local towards Greenwich and we are east so we're going to have to subtract. So the best bet would be to just go with 360 in this case. So we'll use 360 and then from there we're now going to subtract our longitude. So we're going to subtract our east longitude and that's going to bring us back to Greenwich. That's going to give us a Greenwich hour angle of 182 degrees and 18.0 minutes. So this hour angle again that is now the hour angle for upper meridian, uh, upper meridian passage for the sun the greenwich hour angle so that will be a combination of the tabulated gha and of course the hour angle increment for that it will probably be about 54 um, minutes or so so what we're going to do is we now got to go into the almanac and very important again we got to go into the almanac on the 20th of october because that is correlating with our greenwich time so we're going to go in on the 20th of October and we're going to look for a value that is closest to 182 and below 182. So that's going to give us a reading of 168, 168 degrees, 47.7 minutes. And this will be on the 20th of October at 2300. So again, we can check this 23 here and compare it to the 23 there. And obviously those two should be... Um, the same. So that's a very good indication that we're still on the right track. So what we now need to do is we said that this, this GHA was a combination of a tabulated GHA and an increment. So then we simply can calculate the increment. So we're going to subtract those two and then we'll find the hour angle increment which is 13 degrees and 30.3 minutes. Now at this time here, this 2300, the tabulated GHA is 16847.7. So what we need to do now again is we're going to have to check from that hour angle going to the next, or from that hour there, that time, this GHA over here going to the next GHA, which will then be at midnight on the 21st. So going up to that time, what is the actual difference there from 23? To zero zero. And similar to what we've done before. So in this case, the difference there is 15 degrees. So remember, I told you guys in the first video as well, it'll always be approximately 15. So in this case, it's 15 degrees zero zero point one. So that means that the time taken, um, the total change in HA compared to the time taken, is a fraction and that fraction is 13 degrees 30.3 minutes divided by 15 degrees 00 0.1 minutes so we can divide those two and that's going to give us a decimal value and that decimal value we will then convert into a change in time and that's going to give us a time then of 54, min uh, 54 minutes and 01 seconds that of course we can simply add and that's going to then give us a GMT for Upper Meridian Passage. And this GMT now we will be calling Zulu. Okay, so that's in Zulu time, so we can name it there. So on the 20th of October at 23.54.01 Zulu, the sun will be at Upper Meridian Passage. Now, we're still in time zone M, so we're still going to be applying um, the mic time difference. We're going from Greenwich to the ship. So we're going from Greenwich eastwards towards the vessel and therefore we will be adding another 12 hours and that of course will now bring us back again to the 21st of October and I should put that one in red as well. So back again to the 21st of October and the time there will be 11.54.01 and that will of course be in mic time. So in the mic time zone. So to answer then the question, so GMT and in GMT and Zulu time for the sun at Upper Meridian Passage. So there's the approximate GMT 23:54 on the 20th, and the approximate ship time 11:54 on the 21st, and then there's the actual time to the nearest second. So 23:54:01 Zulu on the 20th, and 11:54:01 Mike on the 21st. Okay, so I really hope this, I hope this video helped you guys out with this at least. This is a very um, 
the simplest form of this type of calculations and we will be building onto this in the future.